on, everybody? Welcome back to Enshrouded. In this episode, we are going to wrap up Enshrouded demo. Today's the last day. And uh, I've enjoyed this. It's pretty good. It's got some quirks and things that I got to get used to, as you do with all games. And uh, in the last episode, I did a non-commentary just playthrough, and we were going through checking out the tower and all that other stuff and that was pretty cool so in this episode let's go check out this last quest where we need to head ourselves up into somewhere in this area up here i believe i'm not quite sure so uh we'll figure it out but anyways let's get going let's make sure the flame calls you to an ancient vault fire Final Lords for now. Feel free to still play a demo afterwards. Yep. So we did that. We did the ancient spire. We did the well. And oh, the ancient vault is way over here. Way over here, alchemist. So I believe what that's going to happen is that we're going to learn alchemy by doing the ancient vault. But we shall see. Oh, did I bring my glider? I did. Okay. All right. We might be putting the glider to use. We'll see. I've kind of been afraid to because I'm such limited time. I have less than three hours left in the demo. And if I screw up the mechanic of the glider, I'm afraid that I'll die and have to go all the way back. So I've been kind of weary about using the glider. Let's see. Man, that is definitely some dark areas down there. Let's check the map. Yep, I'm heading in the right direction. Let's try a short... Hey, there we go. Alright, I think I figured it out. Not too shabby. Let's see if we can climb high. And that's about as high as we can climb. And I'm enshrouded. Can I... Ooh, I am scraping the ground there. <laughs> that was a good... Like I was belly scraping there. The shroud is a really neat mechanic. And when you think about it, how many of you guys have played like uh, any underwater games? Uh, the, the shroud reminds me of just that panic of uh, not having enough air. So when you're in the shroud, oh, I didn't see you coming. Hello. Oh, he, oh my goodness. Dude, that guy wrecked me in two hits. Who was he? All right. Never forge it. It gets better just to get a bigger hammer. Okay. I'm still running around in my newbie armor, too, and I tried. I've checked everything around here for better armor. Uh, I checked the workbench. I talked to this guy. Let me check to make sure my journal. I Let's see. So. Enhance your weapon. Yep, I did that. I, salvage. Yep, I did that, too. You see, and I've completed all these other things. Crafting. Art, you know, as far as armor I should still have rags and I really should like try to see somebody else's video or something in order to with only like less than two hours left all attributes yeah whatever status details food effect yep so let's try to make this happen Character. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, 
Back into the shroud I go. Yeah, this place isn't spooky at all. The ominous music. The whispering. Oh, I thought that was my body. Uh, nope. The guy who killed me with just two hits. Yeah, I'm looking forward to dodging him trying to get my body back. Alright. And of course, it's nighttime now, so there's always that. Because I have to do things the difficult way. There is my body, I do believe. Let's see if I can do this real fast. Open space, take all, thank you. And is that the guy there? Okay. There he is. That's probably the guy standing right there. Is there a way around this? Ah, whoa, I did not mean to jump in two feet first. Holy cow. Uh, sure. Uh, let's see. What's in here? Anything? I don't have a lot of time. So let's see if we can bypass a lot of this stuff. Oh, there's a guy. Let's keep going. There's another dude. Nope, nope. There's a lot of dudes. Heck no, and I'm running into a wall here. There's a lot of people chasing me right now. Because I do not know where I am. Oh, that tree just exploded and that guy jumped out. Nope, 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 nope. Get up here. Where the heck am I? That's a spider. No, I don't want a construction hammer right now. I want my axe. Thank you very much. I'm already half dead. Take a potion. Let's go. I have no idea where I am right now. Hey, take another potion. I am slowly running out of time. Okay, this whole area looks like a dead end. So I need to go this way. This whole entrapped area on the map looks like a dead end. Of course, I didn't know that because of the fog of war. That's on the map. Okay, let's go. I've got less than two minutes to find my way out of the shroud. And it's like I was saying before, it's an interesting mechanic because it's kind of like the shroud represents like you being underwater. You've got a certain amount of time and then that's it. Oh, thank goodness the sun came out. Thank you. Something went right for me. Okay, I know something's chasing me right now. Let's try to get out of the shroud. Is this out of the shroud? I see daylight. No, it's just sunlight kind of breaking through. How about up here? Can I climb that wall? Doesn't look like it. Oh, he's trying to swing at me. No, that looks like it's deeper into the shroud. Oh, hello. No, one shot. He about killed me in one shot. 58 seconds to leave the shroud. Please be up here. Please let this be up here. Leave the shroud. No, I jumped over the wall. I needed to get up on the wall. Nope, I can't get up there. I have a feeling I'm about to find out what happens when you die in the shroud. It's kind of like running out of air underwater. You drown. Oh, can I climb this wall? Is this... Is this... Up here? Anything? Out of the shroud? 18 seconds. Oh my gosh. With 18 seconds left, I made it out of the shroud. How does that even... I was completely lost, man. I had no idea where I am. Still have no idea where I am. 
All right, so this is where I need to go, and I'm facing the wrong direction. So it looks like I need to make a left. This all was just a dead end. So it looks like I need to go up this way and around, maybe? Well, let's try it. At least I'm out of the shroud now. This looks like an abandoned town. God, if I wasn't on such a time constraint... I'd want to explore this place a little bit. I mean, I appreciate that they gave us eight hours to check out the demo, but man, really eight hours? That's it? Uh, you really feel like you're on a time crunch, man. If you're going to put out a, a demo that's... Two weeks, you have two weeks. I mean, I would say a minimum of 12 to 24 hours. So the people don't feel so rushed. Oh my gosh, look, there's a place down there. I'm afraid that I'd get stuck down there and yeah, just too much time. Harvestables. What? It, what? Tear out, tear out, little farm area. Mushrooms, yeah. A lot of ingredients to build stuff. Alright, so I need to head that way, I believe. Let's take a look. Yeah, what is this place? Harvest Homestead. Well, that makes sense. Alright, so that is a mountain there. I have plenty of water. I don't need more. Oh, look at those crops. Okay. Oh, I fell in. Oh, look at the mud clinging to my feet. That's funny. Uh, it's funny. Okay. I hear combat. Oh, bees! A swarm of bees! Are you kidding me? No! I don't even know if my character is allergic to bees. Because I haven't been able to spend enough time with him yet. Because we're on a limited demo. Alright. Uh, no, oh, we'll do four. What's this? Loot. Nails. Oh, the bees followed me in the building. Are you serious? Keep going. Run. All right, we're just gonna keep trekking. We're just gonna keep trekking to our quest objective. Oh, we got some wolves. Of course there's wolves. Right on the path. Let's see if I can pick them off from here. A little higher. There's one. damage all right bones apparently bones and fur is the only thing you can get out of wolves I haven't gotten any meat from a wolf yet they're just wolf and bones and stuff Okay, where are we on the map? We're getting closer. Not exactly sure where we're heading, but we found a road. My dude's out of breath. We have some tomatoes. Oh, back in the mud again. Mud is a thing. Oh, a dude! Oh, no. I, and he's in the mud. Of course he's in the mud. Shake the mud off my boots. Alright. Oh, another dude. Dodge and roll. Oh, in the mud. What do you guys all hang out in the mud for? Okay. 
I guess this is my destination. Yeah. And let me go ahead and hit seven. And six. And five. There we go. Buffed up with only three potions left. Ancient vaults, alchemist. Journal is flashing. Let's see. In order for the blacksmith to enhance your weapons. No, that's I already did that. Uh, the flame calls you to seek an ancient vault which hides in the powerful artifact therein. This is your final verge for now. Yeah, yeah, I've already read that. So nothing changed. It's just glowing with exclamation points, I guess, to let you know. Hey, you arrived! <laughs> Oh, let's just exchange blows as he takes me down to half health. Oh, I heard an arrow fly by my head. There he is. He's up there. Yep. Let's see. Can I do the same thing to him? Yep. Got him. The archery is good in this game, I gotta say. Whoa, another one. Is he above me? Let's run over here. As an arrow almost takes me out at the ankle. Where is he? Is he up there? Oh, hello. Yeah, same to you, buddy. Oh my goodness! Dude, he about wrecked me! Seven. Trying to hide behind this side of the tower. So that I don't get wrecked with arrows. Come on. Just a little bit more. There we go. I only got six bandages left. Let's get in here. All right. Not exactly sure where to go. There's a dude in there. He saw me. There's multiple dudes in there. Speaking weird. Okay. I really feel like I should have had armor by now. Man, that guy just about wrecked me with one shot. Yep, there they are. Oh, there's a dude with a... God, it looks like a Gatling gun. Multiple dudes! I really should have made more bandages. This is gonna get ugly. Every single encounter is like almost life and death. I really think I should have made. Let's see. Let me see what kind of potions I've got. 
Backpack. What do I have here? Uh, contains enhancing your resistance of the user, extends the time. Okay, I'm not in the shroud right now. Great power at cost, increases your damage by 35%, reduces the max time you're in the shroud. Well, I'm not in the shroud, so that might be good. Let's stick that on my hot bar for right now instead of the tomatoes. Um. Uh, Let's throw this in the hotbar too. What was this, by the way? A spark. Small amount of essence from flame, feeding it back to... Maybe it can cause strong... Become stronger by... And burn even brighter? I don't know what that means. And that's about the extent of it. Okay. Oh, he's like literally right there on the other side. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so... Let's eat that. Food type's already active. And... Five, can I eat tomatoes? Okay, and eight. don't know where to go I'm hoping that I can find a nice piece of armor laying around would be nice oh, of course this is gonna go downstairs is this a chest please have something no I haven't quite figured out how do you do magic yet but at the same time, I don't feel like you're so far away from home. You're so, you know, to experiment with stuff is like, ugh. do I want to go up or down? Is this a door? No. If I go up. Hopefully this room's not full of traps. Although the floor sure looks like it would be. This is this door is closed for the demo. If you'd like to see what's behind it, consider it playing. Okay. I will consider it, dear sir. Let's try the other side. Probably the same thing, but we'll give it a shot anyways. Yep, same message. So it looks like we're going downstairs. Oh, this is so for faux boarding, for boarding, for boarding, whatever the word is. Ooh, does that look breakable? Yes, it is. Oh, look at that, the chest, please. Oh, a lock pick. Of course I don't have any lock picks with me because you know, why would I bring a lockpick to a dungeon? Tell me this is not a trap. Look at all those holes. And this is like Indiana Jones all day wrong right here. Can I hit it with an arrow and see what happens? Nothing. Oh, I was expecting for it to erupt. I'm gonna run across. Oh, look at that. I knew it. I knew it. An apprentice wand. Of course, I would receive an apprentice wand. Because, you know, I just finished talking about how I haven't wanted to try magic yet. Oh, got me right at the end. Seven. Bandage up. Six. All right. Okay. 
nowhere else to go. Down is not a thing. Is it this way? No. Um. Well, ladies and gents, I'm not quite sure where to. What to do here? Arrow, water. Okay. Well, I guess we can try the wand. Yay. Look, a magic wand. It hurls balls of light. Because that feels so impactful. Um. I don't know why it was choosing to go there. It was aiming at this thing. Okay. Gotta admit, uh, wands and stuff like that feel pretty weak. Okay, was there another door I was supposed to go in? Because this doesn't feel quite right. Oh wait, my quest journal changed. That's it. That's all. So all that was to come get a wand. All right. Sure. I guess. Oh, I hear an arrow. Where's it coming from? There he is. Let's try out these wands. I mean, really? It doesn't... That took like, what, 20 wand hurls to kill one guy? I, and two axe cleaves with the axe and I'm good, you know what I mean? See, stashed our hall. That hall was too good to share with the rest of those snarling cutthroats, so I stashed the deadliest bits in the last place everybody would look. You know the cave well enough. Oh, really? There's a cave? Ooh, so that means there should be a cave nearby? Uh, yeah. Set his waypoint. Somewhere down there. All right, let's see. There's a cave. You know what? Switching back to. Oh, hello. Get out of there. What are these guys? Oh my god! That dude literally one shot me. All right. Respawn. Am I at least nearby? Oh, of course it's nighttime again. Do I have any, uh, let's see. Oh, and there's a bad guy right there. Of course there is. Crouch. I have a feeling I wasn't supposed to be here <laughs> without some sort of armor or something. I have three bandages left and three potions left and I've got two hours and 15 minutes all right so now I wonder if I can teleport back here is that a thing I don't know if that's a thing. let's see so I know for instance I was at the ancient spire oh I can so that means I can teleport back here all right so let's go back um 
Let's go back home. The flame sanctum. Uh, let's go back home. And... Where's my house? Cinder keep... Home, level two. There we go. Uh, let's go back home. F see if we can figure out a way to get some better armor or something. And then fast travel back. Armor! There we go. Metal sheets. Where am I picking up? It said I had 21 scrap metal. I don't see 21. Must be in, in a box? Am I just not miss seeing it? Scrap, metal scraps, there we are. Was able to pull it from there, but this is not able to pull it from there. I don't understand why this won't work. And charcoal, I forgot what charcoal looks like. This charcoal right there. All right. And I think I said I needed nine. So that's gonna take a few minutes. Uh, we'll be right back. Let me ask you guys this. I made a mention of this in the first video. This is a matter of opinion and I'd like for you to tell me in the comments below. Does the character look a little hobbitish? Like, he's not like a normal size. I mean, he just feels like he's either a hobbit or a... His body proportions don't look right to me. It doesn't look like a standard human body frame. It looks like he's like a little person. I wonder if, like, we'll find out that we're actually all little people and then we're going to run into humans and they're, like, as tall as this house or whatever. I don't, I don't know. They, it just, it, the characters just kind of look a little hobbitish to me. Like, you know, Middle Earth kind of, I don't want to say dwarf because it doesn't have the dwarf features of, you know, the standard medieval or D&D &D kind of, you know, broad shoulders, long beard, you know, dwarf with stubby little legs. That's not what I get. I just feel like a halfling or uh, a dwarf. The body doesn't seem quite right. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. All right. Well, I'm a little bit more stout than I used to be. With my armor. Uh, set his waypoint. I think that's not far. I'm not quite sure where. I wish you could see the waypoint on the actual ter terrain. Uh, here we go. You're going to come up to a cave. But this time, I'm a little bit more stout. Where's that cave? There's my stuff. Hello. Yeah, come on. Come on. Bring it. No. Of course, he had to shoot me right then and there. All right. Oh, he got me again, the little bastard. Oh, I'm out of mana already. Two shots, and I'm out of mana already. Okay. You know what? 
Good grief. I do not like magic in this game. It feels really weak. Okay, so I'm guessing... No, I was about to guess if my health is above that one line that it automatically regens. But apparently not. Yeah, this guy's a bit fierce. Even though I have armor on, I don't necessarily... Oh my god! Dude hits hard! I mean, trading blows with armor on, and I'm still getting wrecked. Good grief. Waypoint reached. I uh, seriously, I activated a trap that sets off my stuff. Good grief, man. These bandages are awful, too. Scavenger stash. A wailing blade. Level three. Nice. New lore page. Scavenger staff. All right. I'm definitely going to go check this thing out. Oh, it's orange. That means it's legendary. What was my other one? This one was epic. What's better? Legendary or epic? This one's got a glow to it. What's this? Search. Bunch of stuff. I know not to swing at barrels. Thank you very much. Found that out the hard way. I know it's more than likely just the red barrels, but this isn't even early access yet, so I'm not taking a chance. Somebody thought it might have been cute. All right. Loot this guy up. I wonder if I can parachute right into the back of that house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. A shrepper, shepherd's lightning. A mighty relic, able to provide solace amidst chaos. The previous owner might have been a retired hero. Staves can cast spells by using spell charges and mana. Equip spell charges to cast. No, I haven't really been impressed with magic at all yet. So... Guys, tell me in the comments down below if you've been playing in Shrouded, what has been your impression so far of the magic available? Um, oh, that's funny. Lockpick in order to get in. Um, in the game. Did you find that it was weak? Did you Were you happy with it? Were you thinking it was overpowered? Let me know. In sickness and in health, Yolanda is still weak. She can barely lift her head from the bed. She she sleeps as hot and cold flashes at a night. At the night, I muffle her pain grunts with a pillow. We can't let them know we're here. They're always out there, prowling and shrieking through the night. We're surrounded. I don't want them to be our end. I want peace. I will be by your side forever. I promise. Love you, Yolanda. Eleanor. 
wonder if this is your Honda. Okay. Backpack is full. I guess that's just wood. Let's see. What are some... I don't really need resin. Delete that. I'll get rid of that. What is this? Shroud pours. Get rid of that for now. Since I only have an hour and 20 minutes left. Oh, that was a whole campfire. Okay. Yeah, lockpick. Let's bust down the door. Can we bust down the door? No. Apparently not. It should be. box water and cloth well I can make more bandages at least okay those are the deadly red things we do not want to mess with all right so the Sun is probably setting soon oh hello I didn't see you there. Oh my god, he hits hard. Keep him stunned. Keep him stunned. Oh! Good grief, man. Those things hit so hard. My sword is almost half dead already. Good grief. All that for metal scraps. Are you kidding me? Backpack is full. Backpack. Alright, what am I gonna get rid of? Plant fibers, delete. I'll get rid of this torch. What was this? Mana potion. I'm not I'm not using mana. Heal charge. Maybe I can use the uh, twigs. Give me a break. Oh, a chest. Here we go. Oh, lockpick. Okay. I have the lockpick. Explosive ball. Yay. Shroud survival. Okay. Well, this brand new sword I just bought is half broken already. Oh, hello. Yeah. better and that dude over there he saw me did he quit chasing me yeah he quit can I climb yep Ooh, there's something down there in this building Yeah, you just sit right there while I pepper you with arrows. Thank you for making this convenient. Appreciate that. Let's see. There's another guy. There he is. Come on.
Oh, he's got a he's got a thing though. He's got a crossbow thing. And those crossbows hurt. Stagger him. So, let me see. Can I load up a different arrow? I've got, let's see, these are level 8 damage, yeah. Let's load, can I? No? How can I make these the default equip? Okay. So those are my default arrows now, I guess. And the sun's going down. What is over here? Ooh, that's a big chest. Oh, look. Another magic thing. A wand. Yay. Let's see. Cold reception. We've arrived to Rockmore finally out of the shroud lands. It was a difficult journey from the mountains, I hoped for a field hospital here, but there's almost nothing. I must take matters in my own hands as I did at the front. I'll set up camp in Woodguard. That's probably who we found the other stuff for. Of course. Booby trapped. Ooh, that left a nice crater. That's kind of cool. And of course it's nighttime. And there's a dude. Yep. Of course. Man. Either I'm out. I shouldn't be here at this level. I probably should have tried getting some levels before I came here. But with the lack of uh, time left. This is pretty much it, I think, though. Oh, wait. I hear... What? Another one? Who's shooting? Where? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there we go. Over there. Right. Take my last healing potion. Make sure there's no nobody else over there. Where's he shooting? Where is he? Oh, I see one over there. Is that the guy? No, he's not firing. I hear somebody else firing. Okay. Oh, bunch of guys over there. Nope. Oh, I don't want to go into the shrouded lands. There's a wolf. No. And a dead end. Nope. Okay. Use a terraforming tool or explosives to forge a path through the rubble. Good, good, good idea. Let's see. Will a fireball do it? No. Uh, that. Hello. Why am I acting all weird? Okay. Oh, my sword is also a. I did not notice that. That is so cool. That's the house I was in. Okay. That my sword is also a torch. 
That's freaking cool, man. All right, so I got, I got, I went through that area. All that's left is some mobs. Um, uh, I haven't gone to that area yet. Alright, so now... Stone... I just discovered some stuff. Flintstone! Okay. Some crafting material. So maybe we can end the episode with crafting some new stuff. Just get a bunch of this flintstone. Let's see, does he want to tell me any of this? Let's see, the Wailing Blade. You claim the Wailing Blade? I forged it for her grasp before she left me. Fine. You may wield it in her place. Pierce the Shroud's heart, Flameborn. It's what my daughter would want. I just realized that uh, my recording crashed. So let me give you a quick rundown what happened. Um, I ended up going to the Flame Sanctum where I found um, a couple dead people next to a flame that were embracing for the last days together. I got uh, a flame sh uh, little thingy that you put in your house and then it expands and ex it, it makes your uh, buffs better expanding your flame. And then on top of that, it gives you the opportunity to now do another quest and the only problem with that is you guys see at the bottom left hand corner there I have five minutes and 23 seconds left which means I do not have time to go do this quest because it requires me finding another named boss and killing it getting its loot bringing it back to the flame and expanding and I believe that's the last quest in this demo so I've literally run out of time uh, which is why I was complaining about uh, them not giving us time. I really wish they would have gave us like 12 hours. Uh, because once you start fiddling with crafting and experimenting and, and doing all that kind of stuff, you just, you just want to spend time doing that stuff instead of the story, which then leaves you no time to do the story. At least for me, um, that's how I play. I don't like to speed through things. I like to take my time and enjoy them and unfortunately with this demo I was not able to do so but uh, in other in other thoughts I have this game is good um, it's it's almost ready for prime time I'm, I'm thinking it's not quite there yet I have problems with the UI I don't think it's been fleshed out all the way I think there's things that uh, you can accidentally do to uh, you know mess yourself up and uh, it you can delete things by not knowing what they are and then find out later that you need them. There's no warning, there's no nothing, stuff like that. Um, also, especially for quest pieces. Um, also, I don't like the way um, the, the, uh, the tabs, I don't like this. I think this could be better. Um, I, it's, it seems just not good to me just the way this is laid out this is just my opinion uh and you know what opinions are like uh everybody's got one everybody has one and they usually stink but anyways that's that's just my thoughts i thought the map was pretty good i like being able to fast travel and have way waypoints that's good i wish the map was a little bit more detailed than this um this f feels very uh rushed um, but maybe it will be, uh, again, this is just the demo. It's not even in, uh, pre-release yet. I guess this would be called a pre-release because it's a demo, but, um, you know, I didn't get a chance to really mess with this very much. This looks huge and, and quite meaningful. Um, I didn't like the magic. Of course, I could be totally wrong on the magic, but it just seemed very weak 
to me. I don't like the way that it's it's been laid out and thought through, where you have to craft your own magic. Uh, and the wand and the staffs, I don't know, just they, they didn't feel impactful, didn't feel like it was meaningful. Weapons felt better uh, than doing magic. So I, I think that needs to get flushed out. So anyways, guys, that's my opinions of the game. Uh, let me know what your opinions are. Tell me how off base I am or if you agree with me or uh, you have a difference of opinion. I'm glad to hear it. I welcome it. So leave me some comments down below. And if you've been playing it, what are your thoughts? Thanks so much for watching and spending your time with me. It's the most precious thing anyone can ever do. And thank you for that. And truly, I mean it. Thank you. Hit that like, subscribe if you would, share the video. And until next time, guys. Bye.